go full circle with an entire ball gown. Thank you. Now, Bruce is going to tell you a little about what's happening under my skirt. No pictures. So what we have here... I'm a global nomad. <laughs> I learned that from my fashion modeling days. And women build companies very differently than men. Cooperating with CEOs who are male is much easier here than in the West. In the West, I was alone. So I'm just the technician. <laughs> Working with Anina I, in the last few months, I know she has passion. We need fashion, but people don't really think fashion is serious business. Wonderful. Looking forward to cooperate. I think that the China fashion and technology market is completely open. We call it the blue ocean. Entrepreneurs cannot wait. Hey, hi everyone. My name is Anina and I'm from 360 Fashion Network. Wow, these last months have been really crazy. We've had uh, so many events on fashion tech in China. From uh, the GSMA runway show to the Poland Embassy launch of the robotic dress to Beijing Design Week 3D Festival. Fashion is the leading fashion and technology event producer. We want to educate and showcase to the next generation of designers by bringing in experts from the fashion industry, experts from technology. We want to have technologies on site such as 3D printing and virtual reality, augmented reality, wearable computing for the real people out there to touch their lives. I have so many ideas and things that I want to realize and do. I opened the company here by 2009. Personally, I want to use my name and my brand to uh, encourage other women to become CEOs and entrepreneurs. I really love working in China. It offers so many opportunities that may or may not be available elsewhere. And uh, myself, Fashion Network are definitely on the cutting edge and leading the way. I just want you to have a look at what I'm doing to make sure that I'm doing it. And then you put your feet down on top of it. Okay. Got it. So one per one? Yeah. Okay. And my family are all computer engineers, so I was expected to be computer engineer. And uh, then I took a left at the catwalks. Um, but then I used my skills in uh, computers and uh, mobile to help me in my career. And then I started to create projects because uh, I got noticed by Nokia, Microsoft, Samsung, who started to think about fashion. Working with Anina has been great. She's a great vision person. She sees where fashion and tech should be, and now trying to get us uh, engineers up to the same level as she is um, and trying to help her get bring that vision to market. So I thought that China being the center of the fashion manufacturing and also the center of computer electronic manufacturing, that this would be one of the perfect places for me to create our 360 fashion and technology events. And I felt that the timing was really right for me to open six, the company here. Motors. So there are six motors in here. There is a microcontroller computer that operates the dress. Because in the future, 
we can do a lot more. We can then add things like a light sensor. So when it's dark, the dress might come out. Maybe when she's not happy, the dress will come out and say, move away. So there's a lot of things we can do with this dress now that we have a computer chip in it. So this technology is really about how um, the fabrics will be different in the future, not just the function of the dress. So that's a robotic dress. Thank you. I first came to China in 2008 because I saw that the Olympics were here. I saw there was big opportunity, a growing market, whereas the economic crisis was coming to Europe and America. I definitely have stayed the longest I've ever stayed anywhere in China because this is a hands-on place. You blink and you miss it. I don't even want to go to sleep at night. The amount of people, the skyscrapers, the lights in the evening. And of course, there's a, a really big cultural difference. I really was reflected, had the, my Americanism reflected at me. And uh, it's helped me to become a more rounded global citizen because I've seen here how in China, you know, people work in groups really well, whereas in the West, you know, we have this me, me, me attitude. Connie, mm -hmm. should we have a meeting? So, you know, why I've invited them to this event, right? I think yeah, those it's a good are chance the for them too. Yeah. Right. So, Connie is my local partner with whom I work for events, PR, and marketing. I come up with the crazy ideas of what I want to do and then she comes in to really get the job done. Here in China, there are so many women who are CEO of major technology corporation. Here, women are beautiful, strong, intelligent and mothers I can really find so many role models and I can ask them and call them and cooperate with them so I think they are truly inspirational I found that the world was especially in technology totally focused on men as a woman I found it uh, very difficult to get support and the idea of uh, being a woman CEO, if I had not had the encouragement from Nokia, from Microsoft, from Vodafone, I think I never would have done it. And uh, some of the challenges I face, moving 15, 20 kilo boxes <laughs> and uh, trying to, you know, use the pliers to build the, the dark room and, and string things up. So a lot of my challenges are physical challenges. Here, this is the entrepreneurial spirit. Fashion Network in China is to become the largest fashion technology event producer and to bring and to be the platform for international technology companies and local technology companies to meet international and local fashion brands. I want this to be the place where those two worlds collide.